Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Mangret Section. I'm here today to bring you the review for Fairy Tale Manga Chapter 486. The first thing I need to do is correct something that I said in the last week's review. Was it really a mistake? But um, it is something that I should have really remembered. So it was brought to my attention by someone who commented in the comment section saying that how the person that Gadriel was remembering as flashback was actually in fact Levy. This goes back to when Phantom Lord attacked Fairy Tale and Gadjul apparently crucified Levy and I think there were some more people he crucified as well and the reason why that this is this most hated memory or something like that is because he crucified or put in a crucified position the girl that he now loves now I was thought we were just, was going to get something bigger and better than that but it is sweet that to know that it is Levy and that, that he now regrets what he, he, he did back way back then so let's get into the chapter so the first thing I'm going to talk about is the Reaper versus Gadjul I'm not gonna say Bradman because Bradman don't sound don't sound as cool as the Reaper. Get me like the Reaper. It sounds it sounds evil. It sounds menacing. It sounds spread and twelve. But as Bradman, that just sounds like some posh rich boys. So I'm gonna say the Reaper versus Gajo. Now, not a lot of time was actually spent on that. I thought we were gonna get the whole chapter with that as the main focus, but not a lot of time was spent on it at all. And then only the the only important thing to come out of it really is that we find out how the Reaper's magic works. Now, I think something was lost in trans um, translations when this was told, but apparently his particles, um, once someone breathes in their particles, that's when they die. And now what I think was lost in translation is because Gadger responds to this while well, my lungs are made of iron, so I'll be fine. And I think something was lost in translation there because even if your lungs are made of iron you're still breathing something in so therefore you should die so I think the reason why Gajo is fine with this magic was lost within translation the other thing that we find out was that Bradman <laughs> the report is like his body is made out of particles himself and we find this out when they exchange and blows Gadjo's exchange and blows and like his attacks are just basically going through him when he was when he was crucified from last um, week like he just phased out of that and he was, he was fine as well so he's made out of particles so how do you destroy particles you burn them to the ground but he's not a, He's not the fire dragon slayer, he's the iron dragon slayer. So we're going to have to find another way for him to beat him. And maybe that's where Levy comes in. Because Levy hops in by the end of the chapter. She's got mask written across her fake mouth and nose. So she can't breathe in the particles. And she's going to help Gadget out. Now Levy, which was quite a bit, you know, it just goes with this whole sweet thing, was like, how could you say that you wanted to die here? Rare, rare, rare. And guy just almost apologizing. He's like, no, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. So like, yeah, it's like it's been hinted for a very long time. You know, they shared that kiss in that arc as well. But yeah, Gadu and Levy, yeah, I, I'm starting to like I'm starting to shit them basically. I'm starting to want them together as a couple. But yeah, that's everything to happen with them. So moving on. Let's move on to Lady Ellen now. Lady Ellen now, she's still observing things and she's told to her two subordinates, she's like, do you, do you know what? You guys need to go down and help because things are about to go down. The fourth guest is coming. We've got the third guest coming and the third guest, you know, not really no one big in the game. It's just basically the rest of Gadjo's boy brand. They have reached and they are ready to help. But the fourth guest... The fourth guest is not friend or foe. And as soon as I read that, I knew exactly who it was going to be. The fourth guest is Acknowledger, the Black Dragon himself. And now Lady Ellen told them not to go because the fourth guest is going to land on her doorstep. Fourth guest is landing on her doorstep. And she's not afraid. She's good to go. She's, she's there. She's saying, yo, I need to make some preparations. Because it is about to go down. She is confident that she can beat the Black Dragon. She's confident she can beat Ignatia. And just the thought of that alone is scary. Because we are seeing what Ignatia can do up until now. Just a quick reminder. Fairy tale when they're on, the, when they're on, the, on their holy land. No one can touch him. No, no, no one. 
No one could touch him. No one could cause him any pain. They were lucky to escape out of that alive. You saw acknowledge our one swipe God Serena. So just for the fact that Lady Ellen is confident that she can take on the Black Dragon is scary and I can't wait to see this fight go down because it should be good. It should it should be good. So here's to here's to that. Here's hoping to that. What else we had within this chapter? We had no happy Natsu and company. They're flying towards August. Now August sees them from a distance away and he shoots at um, Happy's wings. So he's ready on he's already on, he's already on job. He's ready like shh, shh, trying to shoot out um shoot out Happy and he doesn't even know nothing yet. So it's just this to me just basically says August is not going to be or negotiate, he's going to be like, Brandish, you betrayed, Brandish, if anything, I think Brandish will be the first today, like, Brandish, you betrayed us, boom, gone, but, uh, yeah, we'll just come into that, I'll just one thing that I have to say, and I've been saying it for a while now, Brandish called him, called August, the king of all, not some, not some, all magics, so I'm going to alliterate again. I want to see multiple magics from him. Multiple. I think right now the magic count is on two. So he's shown us two magic so far. The one, the magic he used in this chapter to shoot at Happy, and the magic to mask um his um to mask his presence and Jacob's presence. So they couldn't be detected. So that's two magic so far. I am keeping count. <laughs> Please believe I am keeping count. I think that's everything to come out of that bit of the chapter. And that wraps up everything, I'm pretty sure. And you know, we had the final remaining scene with um Zarif and Zarif's just sensing that something's about to go down with Lady Ellen. So that's everything to come out of the chapter. Pretty good chapter from yeah, it's a pretty good chapter just a hype of things to come really and I think I'll give this a four. Like always guys I'm asking for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please subscribe to my YouTube channel but most importantly take care have a nice day. Uh, just a couple more quick things before I go so going back to the Lady Ellen bit um Lady Ellen when when you know when she was mon sorry you know when she was monologuing she goes on about how she's known as um, the lady of uh, the scarlet despair and then she goes on how to say oh uh, why couldn't she be known as something cuter again that is a reference to the possible or well, it is it's more than possible that is just playing we just don't know what the link is between Urza and and um Lady Ellen because we know Urza she always likes the cute things she loves sweet things and cake and such and such and happy and all them things this is just another link between them two but the most important thing that I want to mention is that this countdown thing if you haven't seen my favorite of the countdown discussion video watch that as well it explains everything in full but this countdown thing is still continuing the next chapter is called the third seal and so yeah this countdown thing is still um, a, a possible thing and now one of my thoughts that it could be was actually put down the drain during this chapter but I've still got quite a few ideas that could be possibly hitting on me once we hit the end of this countdown that could still happen. I'm still in the running, I've got about like five, I've got five bets still in so hopefully I have picked a winner and if my favorite one is the win I'm gonna be yeah and I think I will do a live reaction for the actual chapter when that comes out but yeah this time I'm definitely done take care have a nice day